Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, I am the Dungeon Master All Dragon, and the players today are. Hello, I'm Captain Higgins, Corporal First Class, and I play a Gift Fighter. Hi, I'm David Big Mac Shepherd. I play Brixton Miak, the First Officer, and a human from an asteroid near Brow. Hi, I'm Daikami Sama, and I play Solas Ab Ebha, who is half eleven, Cleric Mage of Ogma. I'm James, I play Akar, <laughs> you and found him from Brawl, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm Levely Sana, an Elf and Wild Mage. Uh, hi, I'm Zakad, and you should take a note from Laftal here. Uh, yeah, I play Laftal, the Elven uh, Mischief Maker Thief, yes, I know my titles. <laughs> the overly mistaken miscreant of perfectly valid and acceptable ethics. I'll be a bumbling idiot with my tails, got it. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? <laughs> Almost forget them all the time. Oh, he's writing them down now, so he doesn't forget them. No, I, I winged that one. Yeah, I, I don't know, it sounded like I, I read it. No, I, yeah. I winged it in the like, last, like, <laughs> five minutes. I was scrambling to write in my spells in my spellbook, so... <laughs> Is that going to be your new spell? But you spell? don't have a spellbook! My spellbook's my brain. I thought I'm your writing. spellbook was your god. Yeah. Oh, well, we're getting into theology this early. So, yeah. we yeah, left off We left off yeah, last man. session. Uh, you were just about to be boarded by some uh, lizard men. Their uh, uh, ship has grappled you on the port side. Uh, so, you might want to quickly form up some... Uh, um, Positioning on the forward deck, uh, Braxen, as per uh, previous statement, you're up on the uh, surveillance surveillance deck. Yeah, I guess we'll have archers up there shooting yeah. down. With with the new um, right hand bow technique, because <laughs> it's faster. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, if you want to shift your characters around, if you're f happy with where you are, uh, then you can stay where you are. Uh, I'm seeing the over map. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah I forgot to move you guys. Same. Okay, my bad. There we go. My mistake. Oh. oh over here. I forgot what a ship looked like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> port side, Hegemus, other side. Oh, left. Bottom. Starboard. I'm right. not going yeah. to be in the front row. Oh, why not? Starboard is is the right side when facing forward. Port is the left side when facing forward. Uh, I don't know why, but I was thinking um, they're keeping me head on. I don't know. I mean, I don't have I don't have access to Bamulf. Hmm. I mean, uh, I did uh, did take a, a ballista bolt last time to the chest. Yeah, it was just took a flesh it to wound. The... <laughs> You know what? I was coming up with a uh, traveling sphere, a healing spell. It's called Walk It Off. <laughs> you heal it. You heal for every minute of you been walking or something. Should have control now, uh, Ocker. Okay. All right. So Leva, you want to uh, um, go toe to toe with incoming uh, lizard men? Nope. I want to hide behind uh, Higimus. Okay, because you're on the front row right now. Where's Braxon? Braxon's up on the That's surveillance it. deck. Uh, I would be casting spells at people, so I'm just trying to think where I would have been. Okay, well, quickly, quickly. I think God God be... Well, I assume it would be here anyway, so I guess I'm guarding the flank, one flank. You're not guarding the flank, you're guarding the front. That's the front. Uh, yeah. They're coming well, from the port. The flag at the moment. All right, if they're coming here. Bad guys coming in right here. Hang on, the lizard men are coming from the left. Yeah, the port side. Yes. All oh, right. Well, here. then Braxton will be on the other um, side. And you can you can rush down uh, Braxton if you want, but that would be your your action for the round. Otherwise, you can use uh, missile weapons. Hey, Ocker. Yeah? yeah? Can I get you to scoot over one to uh, uh, 
here. Okay. Thank you. Because they're going to be coming in from this way. Okay. And your uh, um, your Marines and your crew will be uh, um, coming to help uh, as well. I'm not going to put tokens down for where they are, and they are fighting uh, enemy <coughs> crew. So, just Where's so you Braxton? Know. He's up on the surveillance deck, and he might come straight down, but I'm getting positioned. You know what would be the best way to do that? Boots of jumping. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he misjumps and jumps off the ship. Yes. <laughs> Jump exactly. off the ship and ride, uh, ride it to the sunset. What's, what's Braxton's options for repelling? Be a rogue. Um, <laughs> hope and pray. <laughs> Your best option is to jump and hope you make it. I mean, you can get down to the uh, um, lower deck using the stairs in the one round. Okay. If you, that's I guess we'll do best, that. Best but that's your action that. for the round is is rushing down yeah. to get into Why melee range. You've got a spear, and you can you do like the the the, the infamous uh, dragoon spear thrust from like high up on the air. <laughs> what? Better yet, he I, has a ladder. I don't think he has played uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, I know. Just, Here, here's not... a better idea. Braxton has a has a portable ladder. Yeah, but it takes a round to open. Then he has to climb down it, down it, and spin why, around. Why would he use the ladder when he can use the stairs? Yeah. Basically, well, it would if... take him around to get down, no matter what. <laughs> so That's you fair. might want to go with the not fancy schmancy safe method. It's my that suggestion. It's my suggestion. I mean, he could always uh, jump on the beholder and uh, ride it. I mean that is all that that. that that sort of thing is also a possibility. Uh, so to give you a <laughs> better description, you know, better idea of exactly what's happening um, and what you're seeing um, before you uh, start rolling initiative. Uh, so the uh, enemy ship has uh, grappled you. They've uh, um, their crew has tossed lines and uh, um, pulled in, and uh, they're they're grappled up against you now. Um, the enemy vessel that you're facing, you saw the uh, the picture last time. It's uh, kind of oblong shaped, uh, pointed at the front and, and back. Um, there's a lot of uh, round blister points, or kind of like warts or, or bubbles or something like that on the uh, surface, and that's where they were firing ballistas from. Uh, there's also some crew there coming over, and there's also a pair of uh, doors about at your gravity plane that are opening and lizard men are pouring out. And there's also a pair of uh, larger heavy doors um, up above the gravity plane that look like cargo doors that have been thrown open and there are uh, lizard men uh, up there as well um, with missile weapons. Uh, so... That's a lot of lizard men. It is a lot of lizard men. It does look like there's a lot of lizard men. Um, oh, see it. Mm -hmm. see. Hmm? I hope they've all got names all. Uh, sorry, my phone was going off as I was saying something. Um, they do have names. You don't know them, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you tell us all of their names. No. Divine. Divine name. That's, uh, that's a DVD extra for the Patreon backers. So what are you, uh, um, what were you asking? Uh, I was thinking about using my power to cast chaos. In the middle of them. Uh, so I need representations of where I would be casting it, I guess. Um, well, they, they, their ship is right next to you and their lizardmen coming out. I mean... How many are we talking about? So, you can see that uh, um, uh, some lizardmen that are uh, shouting orders to the others... Uh, they seem to have taken notice of you guys and identified you as uh, officers, and they are they are beelining for you while shouting orders. Uh, and the rest appear to be primarily uh, uh, crew. There Question? appear there appear to be some uh, um, well, real fast. All right, so um, there are lizardmen armed with uh, broadswords, and there are lizardmen armed with uh, uh, clubs. Uh, the clubs, club-armed ones appear to be the crew, 
and the ones with uh, uh, swords appear to be a mixture of officers and marines. Yes, Leva. Could Leva cast a fireball without uh, getting our ship as well? Uh, if you plant it smack dab up in the uh, um, upper doors, yes. Uh, the lower doors where they are uh, coming out of, no. You would definitely hit your own ship. Okay. That's, what she, that's what she will try and do. Okay. Alright, so you, can, uh, uh, you guys can start rolling for initiative. I um, just... What's the initiative for running down the stairs? Just plus three. Yeah. Three. Okay, so Braxton's gonna give the order for the archers upstairs to fire at will and to target people on the weapons. Okay. Question: Does that roll die look right to people? Because I've got a, like half black die on my screen. It's like it's not loaded properly for some reason. If the number comes in, uh, I don't see a roll for you. No, I mean the actual die is black as if it's got a graphical error. Oh, it's well, just me then. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm refreshing I'm my thing. I mean, as long as but, the uh, the number is in the uh, chat box, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I don't see a die roll, but it doesn't matter. I was just wondering if it was me, so I was just going to refresh. That was all. Uh, you I did roll. say, you did say that we're going to be in hand to hand combat with this go right That's right. yes yes they are they're um just leaping across uh to engage you right now i will get some uh, tokens visible for you shortly all right then in that case i am uh let's cast... try to see sword i guess <laughs> yeah yeah why not all right i um minus two to that oh where's my die I am hasted, aren't I? Because I was one of the few that were hasted. Um. Yes, you believe. Then, yeah, you are. Higmus is also hasted. I don't think any of the uh, other party members are. At least, not that I remember. You was it? Lever hasted a group, didn't she? Yeah, she she hasted some regular crew members, but uh, um, oh. not well, the, the dwarves. Uh, and the weapon crew. I am casting a spell, FYI. Okay. Is everyone aware of what temporary good is? I've, I've mentioned it in chat a couple of times. Um, if you scroll up on it. I think you said oh, everyone has five? Yeah, everyone's got five, and Braxton and Higmus have temporary healing potions. Okay. Um, so you want the uh, the gif and the uh, dwarves to engage with the uh, um, the enemy crew as well, correct? Correct. Yeah. Right. The uh, gif mainly to uh, go against the crew, and then the the fighters to mainly go against their marines. If that makes a difference at all to you. Mm -hmm. Um, it it doesn't really because uh, um, you each side decides where their losses are taken. So, all right, cool. All right, has everyone rolled? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've got my. Just so you know, I've got my. You may or may not have put notes down this. I've got my cloak of uh, fear on, but obviously not activated. Yeah, it lasts just... eight rounds. Yeah. Well, eight it's it's hours. eight rounds once you activate it, right? Uh, well, I, no, I think it's just one round. It literally does the effect and it wears off. It oh, lasts eight right. hours. So I can right. only use it once. Okay. I think the cloak of bravery works like that. It lasts in rounds. Gotcha. Okay, uh, Laftal, you are going first. Casting Chaos, uh, you said? Nope. Okay. I'm casting Battle Fate on Arca. Alright. Another Electrum down the drain. I'm running out of Electrum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
right, so these are the uh, the lizard men officers that are uh, leaping over. They they've spotted you. They're they're or they're clearly ordering uh, their crew and marines to engage with your crew and marines. But they've uh, spotted you and and are going after you guys. All right, so battle fate and that's your that's your effect. Oh, Braxton. Braxton, enhance. <coughs> Braxton should have told the artist to target the officers. Never mind. Um, it's a case of they they be going after the crew since they wouldn't want to try to uh, the enemy crew. Uh, there are some that are using yeah. missile weapons. No, I would so. I gave the order. Yeah, I I figured if we take out the weapon crews, then if we want to retreat, we can retreat without it being blasted by weapons. <clears throat> So uh, the GIF rush out um, and engage. So who wants to roll a, a d20 for them? For their attacks? I uh, got King. it. Oh, you got it? Go for it, Ark. Yeah. Actually, it's two other d20s as well. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, that is going to be... Uh, one miss and two hits. Were they on the radios of the prayer when I cast it earlier? Um, I think so, but uh, the ten isn't isn't good enough, so it doesn't matter. All right, so uh, that is going to be some deaths among the Lizardmen crew. All right, and the uh, the gift just uh, start cutting down uh, the Lizardmen uh, crew that they're facing up against. Uh, now, the dwarves, there is uh, one group of five. Go ahead and uh, someone give me a d20 for them. Somebody else want to do this one? Yeah, someone else, please. Get some eye control. Very good. Right, go for it. All right, let me uh, check that. I'm just uh, adding in a turn tracker for... Uh, Laughed all here. All right. Uh, with that thirteen, that is going to be a hit. Um, so the dwarves are hasted, so uh, they are able to. Um, uh, they're engaging some of the. Uh, you'd guess that they're they're more lizard men marines kind of thing. Uh, they're a bit tougher. Clearly. <coughs> oh, I forgot to ask where our giant lady was. Um. Yeah, I forgot to actually uh, mention her last session, and uh, because of that, I think she stayed on brawl. Um. She met up with the uh, uh, Weirden in the two days, and uh, is. Uh, fascinated by his mastery of uh, rune magic, so she is trying to learn some of that. All right, so the uh, the dwarves end up uh, taking out some more of the lizard men, lizard men crew. Okay, just got completely cut down. Braxen, your turn. Uh, he's running down the stairs, I guess. Okay. Telling people to, um, prepare to repel borders. I don't think he's going to get to hit anyone when he comes out. Uh, no. No, it's just getting down. Oh, I see a die. The die has arrived on roll 20. Is it that slow for you? <laughs> well, the, I rolled a die ages ago and I didn't see any. I had to refresh green, and green it's and fine black now. Die. I'll, yeah, refresh I'll re the thing. Yeah, I'll refresh now. It's my end of my All right, turn. I'll move you down to uh, to the deck then. It's weird how half the die was black, half the die wasn't. Yeah, that that 
probably means that it's not loading properly. All right, uh, some of the lizard men are making their attacks. Oh, we need some sound effects from the Go Bucks games. <laughs> Preferably from the Amiga, because they sound better on the Amiga. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Rude. All right, so um, the Lizardmen uh, enemy crew do get some hits in, so that is up to you where you want to direct that. Um, you can apply it towards the uh, the Dwarf Marines, the Gift Marines, or your Sailors. Um, so it's going to be a total of uh, basically 15 hit dice worth of damage. Your Dwarves are 5 hit dice. Give her four hit dice, and your crew are one hit die. Uh, what sounds good is that air by Gif? You can also mix and match if you want. Half and half? Uh, huh? Well, it'd be in groups of five. It's so like five to the uh, Gif, five hit dice to the uh, dwarves, and five to the... Uh, human sailors if you wanted or something like that or some other that sound good spread it up okay is that what you want yeah i don't hear anybody say anything different so yeah okay the humans are a bit are a bit weak it's better to put the damage on the fighters because that's where they're there for the sailors are uh, we need them for the ship preferably okay yeah then half and half on the gif and the uh, uh fighters uh, it doesn't work half and half. It's five no. groups of five. Two on the doors and one on the GIF. Okay, keep in mind that you have uh, 15 GIF and five dwarves. Okay. So this would be two dwarves down and uh, only one GIF down with one wounded. Okay, so if we did two on the GIF and one on the dwarves, that would be... Two gift down, one wounded, and one dwarf. Down as in slain, or? Uh, as in, well, oh, they're no. out of the fight. You won't know if they're dead until after the fight. Or unless someone attempts to start salvaging them straight as they fall. I guess that would be... Right. Uh, and if we spread it out uh, a third to each group, what would that be? Five humans, one gif, one dwarf, with one gif wounded. Uh, let's do the two to the gif and the one to the dwarfs. Okay. Okay. Uh, now it is your crew's turn. Uh, I need six d20. Six d20? Yeah, how about everyone uh, roll one d20? He's got six of you guys. It's only five, isn't it? I got one from Solus, Laftal, Leva, Higamus, Braxen. Ocker has enthralled. Ocker? Alright, someone else give me another d20 then. Maybe. <laughs> I did, but it's waiting. It says rolling the dice. Okay, I'll take the... Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh. Got some extras. I'll take the first one that I saw, which was Higamus with the 18, So and also a 20 from Solus, so that is two hits. <laughs> and with that, uh, they uh, lose one of the uh, Lizardmen Marines. Actually, nope, they lose two. My bad. Alright. Leva, your turn. Ah, the bells have started. <laughs> uh, as I wrote, she uh, Leva wants to cast a fireball at the place where she doesn't hit our own ship. 
Okay, if you uh, you could plant it right up in the uh, the large double doors that opened up above you. Yes. Good idea. And there are some uh, enemy crew up there mm -hmm. using missile weapons. Sounds good to me. Okay, so level plus two, that is 10d6 points of damage. Ha! Okay, 30, and that is also... I need to hop over to the other map to uh, note that their their ship has taken an additional uh, three hull points of damage. Is this ship made out of metal? Uh, I mean, it is yeah, primarily... Yeah. The, the outer hull is metal, yes. I'll say, I just imagine it's quite impressive if you managed to buckle metal in. I do need to uh, make them a uh, saving throw, actually. Do -do -do. That you can also be... make spell jammer ships out of different materials. Yeah, actually, it only took half damage. All right, so, uh, Leva, you um, cast your fireball up, hit the... Uh, um, you get it right planted inside the uh, those open cargo doors, and uh, there is a whoosh of flame rolling around in there. And uh, you hear some screams. Let's go ahead and make some saving throws for uh, lizard men. Okay. Uh, uh, what was... So that is, uh, you have taken out uh, all of the regular crew up there with, um, uh, mis that had missile weapons. Nice. They are just completely incinerated, uh, burnt to a crisp. And... Not salvaging anything from them. Let's see. Yes, but they don't attack us either. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't a complaint, I was just a remark. Mm hmm I'm thinking ship to ship combat, um texture from missile weapons would be good smell. Yeah, but doesn't it uh, just apply to one person? Yeah. And it's normal missiles, it wouldn't uh, affect against uh no, I was just thinking because of all those missiles that Lebo just took out. But just imagine if they all target one of the casters or something. True. That spell would have protected me from the uh, ballista bolt. Oh, would it? It would not. Isn't it normal missile? It's normal it's missiles, siege. but that's normal, uh, basically small missiles. A, a catapult shot, a uh, giant's thrown stone, ballista bolt would not be considered normal in that situation. Well, there you go. New spell research. Protection from uh, ship ship missiles. All right, Ocker, your turn. So are you um, engaging with uh, one of the uh, Lizardmen officers who have now... They, they're, they're moving up across. Ocker? I, I have no idea what you're doing, Ocker. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was... I didn't know if it was my turn or not. I had to run away to uh, clean up something that the dogs did. Okay, yeah, it is your turn now. Okay. I was trying to stab one of them. All right. With my spear. Okay. Uh, um, which one are you stabbing right in front of you? <laughs> one to the south. Sorry okay. about that. What's your Thacko? Uh, I think with this weapon, it's a 10. That is going to be a hit, then. Okay. They're not large creatures. And, uh, now for Bamel's attack. Okay. Is, uh, he attacking the same one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he also hits. Uh, you 
do leave a big nasty gash on the uh, uh, lizard man in front of you. And uh, Bjomulf uh, gnaws at him for three points of damage. All right. Okay, I had to get back to cleaning this up, so uh, if, if the turn goes back around, uh, just roll my initiative for me. Okay. Solus, your turn. Uh, are there any missile enemies left? Um, no, not uh, not that you could easily see. Okay. Then I will uh, direct my summon to the flank of the lizardman. Uh, what, what are you doing? Monster summoning one. Okay. All right, let me uh, go ahead and roll to see what you get. Give me just a second. Uh, I will probably handle this as uh, I do with the crew, as opposed to having them move individually. Yeah. I'm okay with that. All right, or give I me can... uh, give me two d four, please. Okay, so. Uh... You uh, intone the words of the spell, and uh, with a, a faint pop, um, some large, uh, soft-bodied, uh, uh, fleshy creatures appear around some of the lizard men. Uh, they appear to be giant leeches. Nice. So they glad. probably ate them. Well, I mean, lizard men. I mean, wouldn't do them much good because. Uh, uh, no, I'm just saying in general. Oh, look, food's arrived. Right. Well, at least it's a food that uh, fights back. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that the best kind of food? All right, so they have AC9. Oh, we just need some uh, kobolds, and we feel right in the series <laughs> of water tape. That would That would help. All right, uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll, 1d20. Oh, the attack straight away, do they? Yeah, I'm going to just do that. God. All right, unfortunately, they are not able to uh, uh, leech onto any of the uh, lizardmen this round. PT. Okay. All right, now the uh, lizardmen who have all uh, come across... Uh, are coming to uh, fight you guys. All right, so Ocker, two of them are attacking you. And they both hit. Of course, he stepped away. I'll have to handle his uh, hit points. So he takes uh, four points of damage from oh, wait. Did one broadsword. Oh, wait. Uh, he did. did. He got a four. What is that? Oh, accuracy. If he's four. I know he rolled four originally. I don't know if he rolled four twice. Uh, we're still in the same round, so he rolled a four. Oh, all right. I yeah, saw him yeah, roll yeah. A four. yeah, that's fine now. All right, and he takes uh, five damage, so a total of nine. Oh, that means I'm being attacked. Nine. Yeah, yeah what, you're what a shame attacked Brax is on the staircase and doesn't get hit. <laughs> You're you're protecting the rear. Yes, you're you're protecting uh, the interior of the ship from non-existent enemies. He's uh, like, no, I I refuse to do any more carpentry work on the inside. Bjomoth takes uh, eight points of damage from the lizard man in front of him. It's a tough lizard. And Higamus. Stop it. The two in front of you both hit. Four points of damage from one as he slashes you with his broadsword. And four points of damage from the other one. And finally, Laftal. I lose my dice when I cast spells, don't I? Yes, you do. 
And I also have gone easier free for less. And uh, they hit you. Both of them. Ah. Uh, six points of damage from one. Oops. And three points of damage from the other. You don't get an AC bonus with Hasty. can't remember. No. Alright. Alright, and oh. now the uh, Lizardmen Marines are attacking... And they get uh, two hits, so another uh, ten hit dice worth of damage coming your way. Uh, five into what? Gift dwarves or human sailors? Uh, gift dwarves. Okay. All right, so you uh, lose another dwarf. And... Only one gif uh, goes down, uh, but the other one is... There is another one that is wounded. All right, Hegemus, your turn. All right. Let's see if we can't start cutting these guys down. Uh, one of the ones that attacked me. Uh, right. We didn't find out what exactly this new sword does, did we? The exact nope. Plus? All right. No, um, in that case, I'm just going to roll for what I know I have, and then I'll let you add the rest. All right. You're rolling for a normal two-handed sword, right? Because you don't know any pluses on this. Correct. All right. My Thacko is 13. That is a hit. Okay. They are not large. Okay. Oh, Brawl Souls do more damage to large, don't they? To Higmas? Or does that last... Uh shoot, you're right. Um I will Sorry, remember that like next you time. Said. No, they do they actually do uh one D six plus one rather than two D four. So I mean it's slight less slightly less possibility, but he didn't take maximum anyway, so Alright, Higgins sword does. With the uh, new sword, you uh, slash at the lizard man in front of you for at least 16 points of damage. Uh, anyone getting any second attacks? Higamus. Okay, Higamus. Ocker. Ocker, I don't believe he does. He gets you one get next two round. attacks anyway, and on top of haste. So you should get three. Is Ocker hasted? No. No, he's not. Oh, okay. okay. Just me and you. I definitely do. Okay, so you normally have two attacks per round? I normally have two attacks per round, yes. Alright, so three. go ahead and give me three more attacks. <laughs> no one else is getting second attacks here. Does this mean he learns how to use his... He figures out his sword a lot faster? Not really. Aww. All right. So, again, add uh, whatever the sword does. I think they all hit. Yeah, those all hit, because you, you rolled better than the uh, the other one. Alright, so um, one roll damage uh, first, as you're facing the guy in front of you. Alright, you uh, bring your sword down in a uh, another slash real fast, moving uh, faster than humanly possible because of the haste, and uh, the lizard man crumples to the ground in front of you. Okay. Who are you the attacking other next? The other one that hit me. Okay. All right. Plus whatever the sword's doing. Yeah, no, I got that. All right, with a uh, couple of uh, quick blows, you uh, cut him down as well. You assume it's a plus? I assume, yeah. Uh, then, floating up above the... Uh, um, ship around the uh, the top of the enemy vessel, um, a spherical form with some uh, stalks sprouting from the top of it floats over. Uh, was and... that the injured one? I'm sorry? Was that the injured one? Uh, it is. It does appear to be the one that uh, took a blow from the ballista. You don't see any blood or any or ichor and anything like that coming mm. out of the wound. 
Um, it it does appear to be uh, very odd. Um, it, like something's just not right about it. But it does turn its uh, central eye upon you all, and uh, you find that your magical weapons suddenly feel heavier in your hands. Uh, Hagamus, all of a sudden you are not moving uh, faster anymore. Uh, same goes for you, uh, Laftal. Anti-magic. And let's take a uh, look at something. Why don't we ever have Uncle Magic? It's always so magic. our swords are now effectively standard weapons. Yes. Um, it brings to bear some eyes. Uh, I need a saving throw versus a spell from Hegemus. Does my magic resistance help me at all? You know what? I'm not actually sure. Um, I'm going to say this yes, because it like should place. be magic. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely magical, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, but it didn't apply. Well, oh, damn. Well, let's see if we get a new commander. Just <laughs> <He's> integrated <laughs> the first folder. <laughs> All right. Um... One of its eyes uh, turns on you, Higamus, but uh, you don't feel any uh, any difference. Um, Yet. I'm going to need a saving throw from you, no. Laftal. Actually, let me... Uh... Oh. Nope, actually, no, you do not need to make a saving throw. Oh, okay. You've already lost. Sleep <laughs> one. And... Oh, well, that might have been a sleep thing. Leva, I'm going to need a saving throw from you. Versus what? Spell. Oh. How nice. <laughs> Seems like oh, Hoda needs to... Uh... See, I got yeah. hasted and it got the spell within a turn. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> how, how far away is this Beholder? You could jump. Uh, it, oh no! <laughs> it's about uh, 20 feet up in the air. Um, it's never been disintegrated. Leva, just this sense of fear and dread runs down your spine, and uh, next round you were required to uh, run as far away as possible. You know what's funny is I had, if I had my other aura. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Braxton could have jumped down and landed on the beholder. So much for mm -hmm. my plan. Okay. <laughs> you didn't see it. I mean, you could have certainly tried. But it's yeah. it's about twenty feet up, but it's still at an angle. So I mean, it would have been, it would have been a real, real leap. I'm definitely going to yell to the Lester Cruz to shoot it. Okay. Uh, only oh, one say... would be able to, uh, and they would be taking a penalty. Question. Yeah. When you say our weapons are disabled, I don't say your weapons are disabled. I'm just no, saying I'm that they feel tired. happier. What do you mean by that exactly? So, uh, normal magical weapons, the uh, they they feel uh, because of the magic, they feel extremely well balanced in your hand, no matter how oh, right. crudely yeah, they're made. So, if you have any magic weapons, they feel normal. So, Meaning, haste was worn off, but what about other spell effects? I didn't say they've That's... worn off. I just said that they're not applying anymore. Oh, how strange. Uh, but the bless does expire because uh, that is. No, it's just wondering because Arcus got that off and I'm one. I don't know if it was uh, spelled or. Well, he's not rolling for this round. You'll have to wait until uh, this thing is either dead or turns its eye away to know for sure. So, initiative time. All right. Uh, Hickamus is also going to say uh, for the archers to aim for its eye. Uh, that would be called shots. I don't know. That's just what he would say. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's the what's the initiative roll for um jumping on a beholder? So you would be doing an attack. What's what are, is the goal of the um uh? Jumping on it to try to overbear it, bring it down to the ground. 
Yeah, or to... chop its eyes off or something. Basically get there so you can start stabbing it. Right, but but you, you jump and what? You're just jumping to grab onto it? Or are you jumping to push uh... it down to overbear? Or are you jumping with your weapon to try to hack at its eyes? Like, that's what, yeah, you're, what are think, you doing with that? I think trying to jump and impale it in the central eye, but you can't do a one-shot kill on things, can you, in D&D? No, but you can take out. You can try to take out the eye. Yeah, okay. Brax going to try and take out the eye. And then try not to land in the uh, <laughs> gravity plane and drift away. <laughs> uh, old? Mm hmm Is there a uh, initiative penalty for a cold shot? Uh, yes, there is. Minus one. So... Um... Would I roll on my sword? Uh, if that's what you want to use, yes. Is this across the board everyone's... Does Brax's weapon even work? Because it's been... Well, he doesn't know it's an anti-magic eye yet. Oh, He'll probably was... jump up in the air with his magic boots and then fall down. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something... Yeah, why not? I, I am don't. drawing out my... Actually, does my pouch work? No, your pouch does not work. Alright, that, that goes... I guess I draw my swords. <laughs> Did I target everyone or just the uh, Lavdal and Hikimus? I think it's everyone in a cone until we get out the cone. And lever. Well, uh, let me put it this way. Anything that you want to do, you, you roll for initiative and you'll find out on your turn what what works and what doesn't work. How's that? Okay. Uh, uh, spell component in the in your bag well. holding won't work either. I'm sorry. I'm saying levers. Well, I suppose Solus doesn't keep his spell components in his. Does he? I don't know. That's up to him. He'll. I'll ask him when his uh, turn comes around. All right. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I need. I'm. Um, I was checking some things, so I'm. A little bit slower on rolling for initiative. Mm Okay. Uh, and I need to roll for Ocker. I do not actually know what his uh, weapon speed is. Do -do. That is... Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Laftal. Uh, he's attacking with his two short swords at the guy to the top side of me, I guess, to the far left. Okay. Uh, I guess they're both one. Oh, God, i got to rework on my faca. One, uh, 2d4. Uh, well, I guess the first, first one definitely one hits. Out. First one definitely hits. So go ahead and roll for damage. I guess 1d6. Yep. And the second one, I guess, would have a FACO of 16. Yeah, that's definitely not hitting. Alright, uh, you uh, get 16. a slight graze off on him, unfortunately. Okay, uh, your crew... So I'll go ahead and I need 6d20. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, that's fine. All right, that is... Oh, my lord. Wow. Not bad. Yeah. That is five hits. Mm-hmm. Um, well, 
so you wanted to, some of the uh, crew uh, who with who are using archery to attack the uh, the spherical creature, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so with called shots, that is okay. Uh, give me. Uh... No, actually, I'll just roll it. Were you telling them to go for the main eye or the eye stalks? I said the eye. Okay, so. the eye. All right. Uh, in that case, they do miss. All right. Um, but uh, you got three other attacks that uh, attacked uh, that hit the lizardmen. So that is going to be. All right, one of the uh, the groups of uh, Lizardmen Marines uh, goes down with those attacks. Okay. But uh, now the uh, Lizardmen officers in front of you are getting some attacks. So the one, the two facing Ocker, they both hit. Okay, let's see. Attack, I mean. It it helps to roll really well. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Ocker takes eleven points of damage total. At least I've got my oh. deck balance this time. That's true. You do. Uh, the lizard man facing Bjomulf attacks him and hits. I don't think Bjomulf's that particularly hard to hit. Yeah, he really isn't. Four points of damage. Okay, and then the two facing you, Laftal. And they both miss. Yay! Alright, Solus. I'm trying to cast Magic Misa. Okay, at what? At the creature. Okay, you uh, intone the words of the spell, but nothing happens. Okay. Um, it is, however, wiped from your memory. Yeah, I was thinking about that might happen. Okay, now the uh, Lizardman Marines are attacking, and they miss. Uh, Ocker, are you back? That's going to be a nope. So he's attacking the. Uh, I just got back. Okay, uh, it's your turn. You uh, you did take some damage, and Bjomulf has taken some damage, but it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to spear one of the lizard men. All right, the one in front of you that you've already wounded. Yeah. Okay. Echo ten. Uh, however, your weapon feels a lot heavier in your hands. Because of this uh, spherical creature that has turned its eyes on you. It's a plus three weapon, so uh, that goes 13. Okay. That is still a hit. Okay. And I guess I'm taking three off the damage. Yep. Okay. 12 points of damage. Uh huh. Uh, what's the all the pluses for? You'd have uh, one for. It's normally plus seven, so I just took three off. Did he roll battle fate this round? Uh, I can't use battle fate. Battle fate didn't, oh, yeah. didn't work this round. Um. Normally I mean... the weapon does two d six plus seven, so. When, when it normally has the magic still working, so... Are you sure you're about that? You're getting plus four from your strength. Yeah, you're not getting plus four from strength. You're getting plus one from strength. What else is the uh, other stuff from? I know I'm getting... Let me double check the weapon itself. Okay, I think it's just... I think it should just be plus one. Uh, Let me double check Ocar the weapon. Wasn't Ocar in the radius of the prayer? Uh, yeah, none of us spells are working. 
That's not giving any bonuses, though. Magic's not working right now at all. Yeah, it's like an anti-magic zone field aura thing. Regardless, you do take out the uh, the one in front of you, Ocker. Right, I'm just looking for the weapons table. It's a long spear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're only getting whatever your normal regular plus two hit would be. Which affects all your weapons, not it shouldn't be unique to your spear. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think I don't believe a long spear is two D six plus three normally. I'm pretty sure it's just two D six. Well need... I'm looking for the long spear, it's on the normal player's guide, so I'm gonna look in arms and equipment. Yeah, it is. Uh, but I'm you. You can roll for uh, Bielmo first, and then look it up while other people are getting their turns. Okay. I think you you might be including uh, strength bonuses from strength and. No, I shouldn't be. I I remember calculating it for. Uh, Good thing's called natural. Weapon. normal. Bring up the master weapon chart. All right. Unfortunately, uh, Bielmo does. Critical fumble. He uh, tries to bite at the uh, um, a lizard man that uh, you just took out and uh, gets entangled in the lizard man's body as it goes down. So he's going to lose next round. I'm trying to figure out where I got the plus seven from. So you frequently Probably get strength fine. bonus from the strength yeah. spell. It can't be that. Uh, no, it would be plus. That's... It is oftentimes plus three. Yeah, it's probably that. Because anything between uh, 1801 and 1850 is uh, plus three bonus. So, I don't know where there's an don't. extra plus one coming from. But I'm right now, you should just have plus one. So normally it would be plus four. Yeah. Okay. And then an additional, it would only be an additional two... If you uh, get a strength bonus of uh, between eighteen zero one uh, eighteen fifty, right? All right. Wait, is it plus three or is it plus four? The spear. It's plus three. Okay. All right, Hegemus, your turn. All right. So, it's probably a result of doing some bad math or something at some yeah. point. I can't get up to where that stupid floating thing is, can I? No, it's at least 20 feet up. All right. I'm going to switch over and help out uh, Laftal here. Okay. I'm going to get the one right in front of him. Right in front of Laftal? Yes. Okay. Um, so this thing does give you a plus one. I'm still good with swords, so it's fine. My uh, thack has a 13 still. Alright, that is a hit. Goody. I'm class of four or more, or less. They are using shields. Mm. Alright, so uh, 18 points of damage at least. All right. Um, appearing at the uh, the doors um, at the top of the uh, uh, other vessel, you see a much larger and bulkier lizard man appear. Uh, he is uh, wielding a trident, and he starts shouting down to um, the uh, lizard man crew and uh, officers below, and. Uh, then he uh, leaps down. Let me just go ahead and get rid of some of these. Uh, some of these. Oh uh, yeah, should I have thrown uh, for the leeches? Uh, yes, actually, you should have. Go ahead and, and roll, because uh, I'll I'll do that. Uh, they miss. Yeah. So, uh, Higmus, uh he sees you as the clear leader and uh, captain with your hat, uh, and leaps down and uh, attacks you with his uh, trident. Felton, stop. 
Yeah, he doesn't seem to, to care about that. You you do notice that he is singed. Good job, Logan. Uh, unfortunately for him, he misses you. Oh, it's that new shield warrior. Well, it, it wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, you might That's think it is. Chuck, it's, it's a heavy shield now. Yeah. It Not is bad. a very heavy shield now. Mm. Well, good thing I'm stupid strong. All right. Uh, two, Sounds like old days no, to fix that. I need 3d20s for the gif. Yeah, nice crit. If that matters. It doesn't, uh, but it is a guaranteed hit. So, all right. So with that, um, that is going to be one miss and two hits. So. They end up taking out uh, doo -doo -doo. so they end up uh, um, eliminating uh, another pair of lizard men marines. Okay, Leva, the uh, fear grips you. Where can I run to? I see that. You can you can is run the into door the ship. closed, yeah? No, you is can run into the ship. Okay. Where to? Uh how, how far can I run? You can basically get anywhere in the ship, but you would probably want to go either down to the bottom or up to the top somewhere. Oh, Leva will probably go to the top. I mean it's it's your decision as to how far away you, you actually run, but you want to get as far away as possible. Well then we go as far away as possible to the top. Okay. Where would that be here? <laughs> um, yeah, that would be in the cargo hold, so that would be a a, a safe, quote unquote, spot for you. Okay, I see. The... <laughs> Help! And the lizardmen crew. Okay. Um. Unfortunately, uh, Solus, all of your uh, mm -hmm. lovely giant leeches are uh, killed off. No, my babies. <laughs> um, and that is going to also be one more attack coming your guys' way. What do you want it to go towards? Five hit um, dice one, uh, towards the uh, the dwarves, gif, or the sailors. Uh, let's see here. Who's in the worst shape right now? Probably who's taking the most in? Um, uh, you're down to three gif marines. Uh, you're down to two groups of five. I mean, you're, you, sorry, let me start again. Uh, you're down to three dwarves. Um... You are down to uh, 12 GIF, one of whom is wounded, and none of your sailors have taken any damage so far. Uh, should we throw a, a lump towards the sailors, I guess? They would have taken some, I imagine. Okay. Uh, so that is five uh, sailors down. Okay. Uh, I need a uh, d20 for the dwarves. I can roll for the dwarves. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, they do miss. Braxton, your turn. Well, hey. Right, this is when Braxton finds out he can't do anything. That's going to be quite a spectacular uh, leap Failure. of nothing. Yeah. Uh, Brax is going to come out the door and try and jump at the beh beholder. Okay. We're about to lever fleety. I was AFK. Uh, yeah. Up into the cargo hold. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Braxton, uh, Leva just uh, rushes past you and uh, runs up into the uh, uh, up the, the stairs. 
you take a step out and expecting your boots to propel you up towards the uh, the thing. Um, they don't. You get a normal jump and then fall flat on your face because you were expecting uh, a substantially lar- larger uh, leap. Okay. So, you know, fun times. Does he get a saving throw to avoid falling on his face? No, but you're not knocked prone. You can just get up again next round, so... Okay. Don't worry about it. All right, now the, uh... Let's see. Higamus, you get, uh, one attack? You get one more attack. Okay. Uh, Uh, So does Ocker, actually. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to continue to hit that one that, uh, was on left. All right. I'm going to hit the one near my wolf. Okay. I'm not near your wolf. The lizard near my wolf. That is unfortunately a miss for Ocker. Oh, Ocker's doing it. Okay, sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Uh, I I did... Both of you did, but that's fine. Okay. Thacko of uh, 13, you said? Yep. Alright, that is a hit. Okay, and uh, with that, you uh, slice down that uh, that lizard man officer. Okay, and now the um, spherical creature up above you. Um, he it brings a an eye to bear on you, Higamus. Beowulf attack. Uh, no, that the Beowulf doesn't get two attacks per round. Okay. Uh, I need a saving throw versus spell, Higamus. I think work at all. Uh, no, the magic resistance didn't apply. Oh, dear. Don't um. How yeah, I mean this actually. Okay. Uh, Higamus, you feel your um body just go rigid, and you are unable to move. That's good. It's good times. Yeah. At least I uh, helped laugh a little bit. I suppose uh, I, I yell. Or I can't yell. Can I? Okay. Nope. You gave laugh all that knowing look that says a thousand words. Well, I was going to tell Brax to stop playing around. <laughs> I can't really push you aside because you're significantly bigger than me. Very significantly bigger. Uh, I'm going to need a saving throw versus spell for you, uh, Laftal. Will, will Higamus kill Braxton if he falls over and lands on him? Yeah, I might be able to tumble out of the way. Is it a mind affecting or lawful? It is lawful. Ooh. Plus two. One. Uh, yeah, I think that's just plus. I don't know if this works. Wait. My target should be ten. Uh, it says that your target should be twelve. Yeah, I've got the modif- I got plus two in the modifier. I'm not sure if that automatically puts that in because I, I that's already in, and I added plus two. Well, it's got a plus four. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, I would have rolled. Uh, I mean, you got a 13, Level. which is uh, better than a 12 anyway, so... Um, Laftal, a wave of uh, drowsiness washes over you, but you're able to shake it off. Oh, do I have my elven resistance to that as well? Uh, yeah, but uh, that's only 90%. Oh. Only. <laughs> only. <laughs> and, Ocker, I need a saving throw from you. Uh, a spell? Yep. I'm guessing one of the eyes looked at me. Yep. Give you a funny look. A beam of light Wait, uh, lances out at I you. I don't have my bonuses, do I? Uh, you have your normal paladin bonuses. No, oh, plus two. Yeah, I think rings and stuff are all disabled. Right. Any bonuses well, from armor equipment? In my case. Yeah. Any equipment? Any equipment bonuses do not apply, or other magics. I'm fine. Okay. 
Alright, so uh, the prayer spell will be uh, expiring at this point. Uh, <laughs> not that it was uh, applying to anyone at the moment anyway. And initiative time. Is Leva just 99? Or does she want to run away even further? Um, you would want to run away further, but it's... If you would feel that you're as far away as possible, then you wouldn't run away anymore. So, um... Oh, wait. The plus... My initiative is worse, isn't it? Yeah. So she is uh, as far as way... Far away as possible. Yeah, so think. then you'd just be kind of like cowering in the corner. <laughs> help, someone help me. It's a little hard though when you don't have magic. <laughs> How long do these things actually last normally? You're usually taken out of combat. Hmm. Mm, okay. I mean, uh, unless you can think of something that you would do while uh, deathly afraid that might help you. I mean. You're not completely I mean... blocked from doing things. Oh, wow, I'm fast. I'll have a look. Leva goes, we can see this. Well, Leva goes through her inventory while whimpering. Okay. Just a moment, I need. What can the mighty Solus do with no spells or wands or. <laughs> So, does that mean a spellcaster could cast a spell that would remove fear from themselves while they were scared? If they're out of combat, I'd assume. Maybe. Right. I mean, once they feel that they've run as far away as possible, then uh, and they feel that they're as safe as they can be, You can do yeah. stuff, but the idea of going back to combat yeah. is the furthest thing from your mind. You need to have memorized the spells too. That does it help. Doesn't help if, <laughs> it doesn't help if you if you cast a fireball on yourself. Does help to have the appropriate spells. Mm -hmm. Uh, did Higmas did not roll, did he? Because he... he's held. Yeah, that's oh, true. Sorry. He is. Yeah, I haven't rolled yet either. Um, Braxton's weapon. It's going to be a club. Yeah. He'd have already pressed the sword button coming out, but did it not work? It did not. Right. You, so uh, you just have a, uh, a heavy rod in your hand with a uh, bulbous end. Right. And I'm not even sure he gets three for two attacks or that. Uh, you do, because uh, you're a fighter. Right. Are you going to be trying to hit something with that? Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Uh, initiative modifier is seven. Yeah. Okay. All right, Laftal, your turn. Uh, he can't really move, Higamus, so he's just gonna have to try and hit the little guy. Um, is this like is this like boarding planks over here? So, so left of me. Uh, not boarding planks, but you've got the uh, front of the ship above the the helm room. So yeah, there's plenty of space there. If I wanted to move here and like fight and push forward, like push him forward as I'm fighting. You could either push or you could stab. Is, oh, he's attacking me though, isn't he? Generally, it's the yeah. trident guy that's attacking humus. Yeah. yeah. Mm, uh, well, I rode to attack, so I guess I'm attacking. All right. Well, I mean, you could you could push. That that would be an attack, but. Uh, yeah, I guess I tried to push push him forward out of, and take his space and move forward. Okay. Basically, the idea is to effectively go where he is and try and take that one that's hacking Higimus and make him hack me. I guess okay. eventually. So an attack roll would be uh, yeah. Do I roll two D or one? 
uh, one because well, you're you're base you're fucking, using your weapons, but not to actually stab. So, nope. All right. Unfortunately, he is able to uh, parry your your blows, and you are not able to uh, mm -hmm. uh, get a thing. Oh, right, the ballistas. Um, I will. All right. Yeah, you could probably actually do that uh, this round, Hegemus. Uh, uh, Ocker, your turn. Or did he say that he stepped away? Back. Alright, your turn. Miss. That is unfortunate. Alright, uh, it is the gift's turn. How many rolls? Uh, let's see, three. How many rolls? Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Three twos! That's, that's quite a, a low odd for that. Um, if this was a uh, machine or some sort, we would have won something. That's three of them. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty amazing. Okay, well, uh, they are unfortunately not able to um, affect any... Uh, any progress in the fight? Uh, dwarves, we need one d twenty, please. I don't know. Okay, they are. That is a hit. Uh, let's see. That is underpowered group, unfortunately. So. And they're not hasted right now. Okay, so they uh, they end up uh, taking out uh, a couple uh, lizard men uh, crew members uh, who get to attack back. And they miss. All right, uh, your crew, you can get an attack with the uh, ballista on the on the creature. So one attack, and that will basically forego all the uh, other crew attacks. Uh, somebody want to roll that, or do they want me to roll that? Well, <laughs> maybe you should roll it. You've got nothing else to do. <laughs> It's not terrible. Uh, medium ballista, right? Yes. That is a hit. Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh, 3d6 damage. So the, uh, the crew uh, line up a ballista on the floating orb. Uh, ballista bolt uh, slams into it for 13 points of damage causing it to uh, spin a bit, uh, but then right itself. Uh, it is the Lizardman's officer's turn. Oh, if it spins, does people's magic items start working for a bit? Uh, for a uh, very brief moment. Uh, let's see. That is a miss on Ocker. Oh, wait, I forgot the whole Damals attack. All right, go ahead and... It's a miss. And uh, the lizard man in front of Beowulf missed him. Uh, Laftal, you were taking an attack your way, and that is a hit. For three points of damage. All right, Solus, your turn. I'm using my sling. Okay, on... And attacking the lizard man. Okay. My Thaco is 18. The new one that uh, is attacking Hegemus, who's standing rigid and stiff and unmoving? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to protect Hegemus. Okay. 
So, and solo possibly, should... possibly angering it and getting myself killed. <laughs> solo should load his sling with pepper and shoot the beholder. Well, that's a miss. That is indeed a miss. With my Thaco especially. Yep. Alright. Now the Lizardmen Marines. They miss. Okay. Uh, Hegemus, the uh, Lizardman who has uh, just leapt down and is standing behind you, is attacking you. Awesome. And that is a hit. Where are my other dice? There they are. So he uh, stabs you with his trident for... 14 points of damage as the uh, the tines spear into your back. Ouch. Braxton, your turn. Uh, Braxton's going to go over and uh, clobber um, the little man he just stabbed Igamus. Okay. What's this thing? That's the one that stabbed Higamus. Oh, that's the one that stabbed Higamus. Yeah. All right. She looks different. The one that is rudely showing its tongue to you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Not very good. What's your Thacko? Thacko with that is... 16. Yep, that's a miss. All right, uh, Hegemus is uh, frozen in place. Let me actually check something. Braxton yells out to the archers, shoot that beholder. Well, they just did with the uh, uh, ballista bolt. Yeah, but we've got normal archers as well. All right, Leva is doing nothing. Now the uh, floating orb um, brings... Uh, an eye to bear on you, Braxton. I need a saving throw versus spell, please. Lovely. <laughs> Let's see if Braxton gets turned into a statue. Twelve. Saving throw versus spell. Oh, it says target thirteen. Okay. Uh, you find your your movements uh, being slowed down incredibly. It's as if everything else is now moving uh, incredibly fast around you. So that is going to give you a minus four to your armor class. And I believe it is going to give you a plus two penalty to your uh, initiative. Double check that. Plus two to your initiative. Uh, next round. And I think there's a penalty to your chance to hit as well. Let me uh, take a quick look. You got minus four to hit, if I remember. Yeah. This is probably the last... Um... No, at least you're able to do something. Higamus can't do anything. Neither can Leather. Yeah. Yeah, you have a um, attack penalty of minus four. You lose any dexterity bonuses, and uh, your attack rate is halved. So you'll get an, you'll get one attack next round, um, because you would normally have uh, two. Uh, no, Laughable did not hit you. Uh, however, I do. Let's see. Uh, I do not need a saving throw from you, Laftal. Oh. But uh, I am going to need a saving throw from you, Solus, as one of its eyes comes to bear on you. Okay. It's got 30% resistance. If it's sleep. Well, if it's uh, sleep or mind. So I think I have some charm. resistance to those. Yeah, no 
not going to succeed. Okay. Um, a sudden overwhelming uh, sense of dread runs down the back of your spine, and uh, you feel an urgent need to get the heck out of here. Well, I hear uh, <laughs> the upper decks have a, a fine company. <laughs> All right. Initiative time. <sighs> the love of... <laughs> Would I know if my poison dagger would work? On the lizard man? In general. I mean... Is it a mechanical or is it magical in nature? Oh, it's definitely magical. So it would slash, but it wouldn't inject poison, for example? Yeah. No. There goes that idea. So, hang on, the initiative penance is a bad thing, isn't it? Yeah, you add an additional two. You know what, Laftal's just going to try and hack this one down, I guess. Okay. Before I get hacked down. Oh, I've even been counting how long it's been for my regeneration. Oh, so, three attacks every two rounds, half of that is... Uh, you you would normally get uh, two attacks this round, so you'll get an attack this round. Right. So is that one attack every two rounds? No. Um, so on the second round, you will always get an attack, and on the first round, you get one every other normal time. So it's uh, in the <laughs> space of four rounds, it's uh, no attack, one attack, one attack, one attack. So, uh, that's, that's going to be hard for me to remember. <laughs> I'll I'll try to keep in, keep in mind. At least Sigamus is just frozen. It's it's easy for him. <laughs> well, it's only me, you, and Ocker are really doing much and being well, I guess. We need someone to throw pepper at the beholder. I do have that. Uh, we're rolling initiative. Yes. Do I still have? Is it still have its anti magic on me? Yep. Eh, still rolled well. <laughs> okay. Anyone oh, still need to roll? What did that? What did that wisdom bonus affect it on that? Uh... Uh, would that have made a difference? Uh, no, it would have... I'm, I'm asking in general, would it have been benefit, beneficial? Yeah, wisdom uh, generally should uh, apply against fear. Yeah, but it was only plus two, so... Still not enough, okay. Yeah. I mean, I rolled three. <laughs> oh, that's true, that's true. Alright, Solus, your turn. Yeah, like I said, I heard uh, lovely things about the upper deck. <laughs> Come, we could play a game of something else here. Yeah. So I will head where Leva did. Okay, go ahead and move your token. I wonder what's worse for a mage, going face to face with a warrior or face to face with a mage. A mage versus mage or a mage versus warrior. Mage versus warrior yeah. by by far. It would be more terrifying, it, yeah. It really depends on the situation. <laughs> the answer is yes. Ocker, your turn. Right, so... Well, no yeah. idea if granted powers. Would I'm going to keep trying to protect the wolf, so... Alright. That's a hit. Right. And it's 2d6 plus 1 at the moment? Yes. Right. You know what's annoying? Everything's in my pouch. <laughs> and the wolf is gonna bite. Okay. That is also a hit. I've just realized that Braxton could do what he wanted to do. <laughs> Haven't you got a warhammer you can go rather than your club? Yeah. He used to be more proficient with that. Oh, yeah. Bryson can't change his weapon, can he? Nope. No. He's got H's burden, but H's burden. 
would just be a burden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wait, Rappel, the curse on Aegis Burden might be disabled right now. <laughs> oh. Rappel <laughs> swings both of his short swords at this lizard guy. All right, he's attacking, Black. not pushing. I've just realized that Prax could do Where's the what other he one? wanted to do. <laughs> I see just rolling 1d20, so... Yeah, no, it was meant to be two. Alright, first one does hit. Oh, that means if it gets knocked out of my hand, it's actually going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's if it's my main hand that gets knocked off. What does it matter? Oh, yeah. Hey, alright. Six damage. Nice That's pretty damage. good. All right, uh, I need an attack for the uh, Dwarven Marines. Hagamus, you could do this since you don't really have much else to do at the moment. Just one? Uh, yes, just one. Uh, that is not good enough, unfortunately. They do miss. All right. Uh, Lizardman crew... They miss. <laughs> uh, GIF, three, three attacks. Okay. Okay, that's a hit. Um, so with that, they... take out another two of the uh, Lizardmen Marines. All right. Uh, the crew, you want them to attack uh, the beholder? Yes. Okay. Give me 5d20, please. I hope beholders don't have uh, a thing where only certain enchanted weapons can hurt them. Unfortunately, they are not able to uh, pierce its hide. Oh. Damn. Okay. That could be a problem. Especially since so some of us have magic noticed... weapons. Hold on. Is this something we just noticed uh, this time? Um, this is... This is... Looking like they should connect, but they don't? Or is it just that... Uh... It, it's got a, a tough kittenous hide, and um, mm -hmm. those arrows were just uh, not piercing. Okay. But then again, when we've hit things we can't hit unless we've got magic weapons, we tend to skitter off. It has the same descriptive flavor. So, I'd say get the lizard things now at this point. We gotta kill all the lizard things and well, then... Not that Higamus can give out orders. Has he been muted? No, he's been held. <laughs> Brax and Kurt, if he's noticed. Well, at least if I'm not being noticed. held this time around. Uh, Ocker, the, uh, lizard man facing you, attempts to, uh, slash at you, but, uh, misses. Uh, the one on Mjolmulf also misses. Laftal, the one facing you, <coughs> attacks you, and that is a hit. Oh, he hit me. Rude. I think I'm going to say Six damage. Ugh. Where's Sindre in all of this? Uh, she you. is up on top deck still uh, using her Bardic Song. Which doesn't affect us. Oh. No, no, Bardic Song is not magical. Oh. But is it? I've not been adding that and not that it's making any Yeah, it hasn't really. Uh, <laughs> none of you have been so close that, that it's mattered, so. Not even Solas and Leva? Uh, Wait, I don't, it doesn't give a saving throw bonus, I don't believe. She's out of zone of the anti- she not got the spell magic. She's seeing Higamus completely frozen, surely. Uh, she's... I'm not... I'm All just right. having her do this because she's absent for an extended period. So, that's that's what you get. And it's giving all of your uh, your sailors um, a morale bonus, too. So, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see. The Lizardmen Marines are not able to uh, injure any of your crew or anything like that. Uh, Higamus, the uh, 
tall lizard man with the trident stabs at you again. Stop it. <laughs> What's your Thacko without, uh, um... I mean, what your armor class without, uh, magical bonuses right now? Yeah, I just realized all my magic. Bonuses? Uh, so I'm wearing the banded armor. AC2? Uh, and I'm wearing the shield. Okay, shield doesn't apply since you're held. Uh, do do do. Bandit's uh, four, isn't it? Four? Yep. One less than plate mail. Plate mail's three. Yep. Alright, that is. That is not a hit. Alright. Thank God. Wow. <laughs> your tin can is helping you. Braxton, your turn. Oh, that means my elven chain, son. Elven chain. Okay, so Brax is going to try and clobber that guy again. All right. And it's uh, minus two or minus four? Minus four to hit. Probably not going to do much. You were you were slowed down, uh, so your attacks are very easy to uh, to uh, dodge. Uh, what's your normal tackle? He should have minus three rather than minus four if he's getting sin rays attack. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm I can take that into I can take that into account. Sixteen. Uh, that is a. That is much actually, too low. Yeah, actually, that's, that's uh, much too low. That's too low. I mean, too Even high. Sorry. Non... That goes fourteen. That goes fourteen. Okay, sorry. Uh, that is still a miss, however. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to use Aegis Burn because it's got a bit of Thacko. You're more familiar with uh, that. I don't think it would right now because most of your Thacko bonuses come from magic. Okay. He's got proficiency. Oh, now, right. It? No, yeah. You, it is 16 because you you don't have proficiency in mace, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, yes. Uh, Aegis Burden would have better Thacko. Okay. All right. Higamus. Uh, Ocker, are you getting a second attack this round? Did I not get one last round? I don't think I did. I would get it whenever Higmas does. Yeah, but Higmas is held. I think you did get a second attack last round because uh, Solus asked me about uh, Biomulf. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Higmas, you find that uh, um, you're no longer held. Oh, good. Are we still frightened? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, we can uh, be frightened together. Have you found <laughs> each other? Yes. <laughs> uh, however, Higamus, I need a saving throw versus spell. Oh, You might be feared. So, um... Does my, uh... thing come through? Uh, thing? Spell resist. Uh, spell resist. I already rolled I it. Resist. Uh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. You're going to trample over Laftal and Braxton if you run away and take attacks and everything nasty. Well, success. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just realized something yep. really important. Oh, should I? Mm. Would all the iron stones suddenly fall to the ground? Yes, I oh, would have. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, I would have. <laughs> but they would have done so uh, quite a bit ago. So, yeah, I guess people would have just catch them or pick them up. I mean, well, or know. pick them up after the fight. They'd have to pick them up after the fight. Um, I need uh, Braxton to make a saving throw versus spell. No. You know, Higamus is going to be really disappointed on you if you just flee the path. <laughs> he needs a new first officer. Is there a minus this for being slower? No. Not to saving throws. Oh. Why? Not that it matters. Uh, you find yourself going rigid. Oh. Focus this beam on you instead. So 
Does All that right. mean Higamus is free? Uh, yes, he is. He can uh, make uh, a taxes round. So it is initiative time. Initiative? Oh, that's why I originally... Holy broke. crap, oh. I'm moving so fast. Yeah, you, you already rolled. Yeah. I saw you were already rolled. I am I Sonic you. the Hedgehog. I take it Brexton should be on 99. Uh, yes. I also put myself on 99. Okay. Since I'm still scared. <laughs> You and Leva are huddling behind all the stuff in the uh, uh, cargo room, holding each other. <laughs> Help me! No, no, no. I'm ask I just asked him whether he wants to play checkers or chase or something. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you look up a scroll for getting us out of the situation? Not really in this situation. I have nothing that might help. I looked up a few that I didn't know immediately, but there's nothing that helps. Unfortunately. Okay. Everyone has rolled. Ocker, you're up first. Okay. So... First... I'm going to attack the same one I've been trying to attack. That's a hit. And then Beowulf. That is also a hit. Alright, 12 points of damage from you. And Beowulf. 5 from him. Oh, wow. That was a really slow roll there. Alright. Uh, I've so... already seen her as a hold, but it took a while to get to you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, he's still standing, but he is definitely, uh, uh, injured and in pain. Um, I need an attack from the dwarves. Why don't you roll that, Braxton? Fair enough. So just, just one? Yeah, just one d20. Are beholders large creatures? No, they are not. Oh. Oh! oh. Doesn't matter. I, I don't do uh, critical hits and misses. That's just an automatic miss. Uh, gift. Yeah, you do critical hits, but you don't do critical misses. No, I don't do critical hits and misses for crew attacks. Okay. Because uh, there's no real mechanic for dealing with uh, critical hits and, and misses when you're simulating multiple attacks. So uh, now I need uh, 3d20 for the gif. Braxton. Maybe Braxton gave them the uh, Aegis Burden. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you rolling? Oh, it's me again. Yeah, sorry. Three D twenty. I have myself muted because I coughed. <laughs> All right, that is uh, one hit. <laughs> it's a lot of ones. Um, and with that, that eliminates the Lizardman Marines. Okay. Yay. Left all your turn. I think, I think the NPCs are getting all the XP today. <laughs> uh, Left is going to swing his short swords. All right. Second oh, one well. does hit. Uh... Alright, four points of damage to uh, the other one. There we go. Now it is the officer's turn. So, Ocker, uh, he is swinging his sword at you. And that is a hit. For five points of damage. Uh, the other one is attacking Bjomulf. This is the one that's heavily wounded. And that is also a hit. For three points of damage on Beowulf. And Laftal 
You got an attack coming your way as well. He swings his broadsword and he misses. What's my AC? Like one now? Without magic plus two. Let's see. You've got a shield, right? No, you don't have a shield. Um, two. Yeah, no, I've. So, yes, yeah, it's, got it's one with just uh, the armor Man. and your dexterity. Dex. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, miss your turn. All right. So, I'm going to. I need to slow down this guy in front of me, so I need to hit him. Well, I mean, he's not hasted or anything. Slow down the damage he's doing. Yes, and he is a large creature. He's we large. get to farm him. If you're to slow his damage. Oh. Hmm. Not that any of us know the rules of our heads, I, I so did, that's probably not our best idea. Like, so... I'm not going to slow down the fight. I'm just going to slow him down by trying to kill him. Go past him. That's a hit. Yes. Um, what is this? Not quite. <laughs> I did the thing. There. Yeah, Gold just posted that there's a uh, at roll twenty is uh, reporting site issues. So, okay. all right, uh, twenty points of damage. Uh, you slash your sword at him, uh, and. Uh, Open up a wide gash across his uh, scales. Uh, Lizardmen crew are attacking. How's the rest of the fight going on for everyone else? Crew? Uh, the crew are actually doing pretty well. Um, yeah, that's good. Then. Yeah. It paid to have those high level swaps. That is all misses. I say that as I jinxed it. And I can actually remove that from the list. Maybe uh, I should feed that beholder a potion of youth. No, love. Yeah, try it. Uh, Higamus. I can't access my bag, though. The, um, the large lizard man is uh, going to attempt to stab you with his uh, trident again. Stop it. AC is one, man. I think. Oh, no, it'll be two. AC two? Okay. Blastel, do you have pocket sand? Uh, no, unfortunately. I was gonna I, have well, no, in. I do, I think, because I have a pinch of sand for one of my spells, but it's only a pinch of Throw sand. Throw into the beholder's eye! <laughs> That's a cool shot. I know yes. what you mean. 15 points of damage, Higamus. Oh, I, I just can't. Keep... I can't even access my pouch because it's sealed off. Because it's extra dimensional. It's well, then throw magic. something into the beholder's eye so we can have magic items again. Uh, Braxton, you are still held. <clears throat> still held, yeah. All right, let okay. me uh, let me set you to ninety nine then. If I can't get this guy this round, I'm dead. I'm knocked out. All right, it is the crew's turn. I need five d twenty, Braxton. 5d20. Yep. Alright. What's... Uh... What's what? How's my fight going? Am I winning or losing? Or is he as good as me, pretty much? Judging by how many times I've hit him. Uh, I mean... He seems... Still able to fight for him. Yeah, he, he, he does not seem particularly injured. Uh, or weary or anything like that. All right, so uh, that is going to be Braxton. Give me a two d six, please. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could retreat out of combat and attempt to dispel magic, but then Hagmus would take two attacks against him instead of one. 
All right, a couple of arrows do manage to uh, pierce the uh, hide of the beholder. Oh. Two tw oh, that's <laughs> the only time they can hit. All right, Solus and Leva, you're not doing anything. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, an eye turns on you again, Laftal. But nothing happens. The hold is not really able to affect me for some strange reason. Um, Akar, I need a saving throw versus spell for Bjomulf. Um, okay, I don't know what his targets are. You can you can just roll a See what d20 happens, and I'll, obvious. I'll let you know if it's a success or not. That might be a success. Uh, it is not. Uh, Bjomov gives a uh, yelp, and uh, he has to run away. Next round. Well, damn. Well, at least I don't have to defend him. And let's see. Second I... attack. One last thing. Uh, I need you to make a saving throw versus spell as well. Ocker, as another eye turns on you. Oh. That was a different eye. Can we get a feel for which eyes are doing which? Thanks. You could. If you say, I want to tar target the eye that's doing this thing, then you definitely yeah. do so. I'm fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, do you get a second attack this round? I do. All right, go ahead and make I it. do now, yeah. Uh... Oh, good job. That is a hit. Uh, you would kill the one that was uh, facing Bjomov. Which is. Now Bjomov can get away good. without dying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty lucky there. Uh, Higmas, do you get a second attack? Yes. Alright. I, I, I hope that the eye that turned on me wasn't the disintegration eye. I think Old's been rather generous for the new disintegration. <laughs> or, you know, you could try to discover what might be going on with the thing. Um, that is a hit, Higamus. Okay. Uh, you bring your sword cutting down on the... Uh, on the... Uh, large lizard man in front of you and uh that is a death he uh, collapses down to the ground dead Ooh. all right let's uh let's go one more round before uh ending the uh for the break taking our break so go ahead and roll initiative well his breaks are still frozen yes you are I'll roll a, uh, I'll roll a D ninety nine. Oh wow! I'm <laughs> I already set you to ninety nine, so you don't need to do so. Rex, and are you coming up or are you going down? No, he's frozen. The eye is oh, still okay. in place on us, right? Yes. Yeah. Bra Brax is holding its gaze. That means you <laughs> can't do the same eye on anyone else. Why am I over there? I don't know. I didn't do it. I know some. I noticed there was a movement, but where are you? Where? Well, I was sent flying that's... across the command deck and off the ship for some reason. Oh, probably just uh, an accidental click then. You did something to the to offend the Red Knight. Clearly, <laughs> he's like that. That pawn's off the table now. Someone could use Brexton as cover. <laughs> yeah. Apart from you're much smaller than the uh, Pigamus. Okay, so everyone has rolled. Half cover then. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, Laftal, yeah. you're up first. Oh, wow. 
Which one of all rolled so bad? He's going to skewer this thing with his two short swords or maintain the fence. Okay. As I've, it's just rolling the die, so it'll appear when it appears. If you have the result already, you can tell me. No, it's not told me. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty slow. Wow. My off, that's my plus one short sword. Yep, that uh, that is going flying. Oh, this this is why go. you need a magic ring that returns objects to you. Hey, my main hand short sword normally floats in the air. <laughs> Just get disarmed. I'm going to be very sad if I lose that. Not quite as sad as me losing my ring of extra vision, but you know. That's not an excuse, old. Uh, that, uh, that does skitter down the, uh, front of the hull. Uh, it hasn't gone off yet, but, uh, in the melee, it could get knocked off, so keep that in mind. Where is it, exactly? Uh, it's it gone ping. towards the, yeah, hold on a second. It's gone so off this way. I will probably take an attack of opportunity to try and retreat that. Okay. You use your ring. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Can't use anything. Uh, that would be an attack row. Another, uh, another attempt by the uh, ballista. Mm -hmm. You want to roll that practicing, please? Sorry, I had a phone call. Okay, that is unfortunately a miss. Uh, oh, yeah. The ballista bolt uh, goes uh, flying off into space. Uh, the GIF can use their Wheelocks if you want right now. Yes. Hickamus, is that what you want? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. So go ahead and uh, give me a 3d20. I'll roll them. Sure. I was going to say Braxton says he can't do anything, but... No, he can roll them if he wants. Alright, go ahead and knock it. Uh, Sorry. unfortunately, those are all misses. Ocker, your turn. Well, that means less, uh, ones for Ocker. So, I don't uh, think it works that way. <laughs> so, uh, the animal friend's inside. Yeah. And I'm going to, uh, stab it. I'm going to... Like, take a step this way and stab this lizard man. Okay. That is a hit. Okay, seven points of damage. Mm -hmm. All right. That one uh, that you're facing, Ocker, he is uh, swinging his uh, broadsword at you. And that is a hit. For six points of damage. Laftal, the one uh, facing you, swings as well. And that is a hit. For six points of damage. Six. I guess I wouldn't even be regenerating even post combat because the ring's been taken out of combat, so to speak. You will have to find out. Uh, the regular Lizardmen crew start uh, throwing down their weapons and uh, saying that they're surrendering. Really? Yep. Uh, so we just have to take care of the Lizardmen captains. The uh, the dwarves uh, begin to uh, round them up. These two guys, though, they are they are fighting. You, they, you, they seem like they're fighting to the death. Higamus, your well, turn. Yeah, considering it's going like half, half. Let's get the one in front of uh, Laftal there. Okay. Maybe. If I can roll. That's a hit. Regular sized? Yes. Alright. 
You uh, hit for 19 damage. He is definitely uh, uh, feeling the pain there. Mm -hmm. Considering I would have been in combat for like several more rounds to do that much damage. I'm trying to think. Um, you get a second attack, uh, Higamus? Yep. Could I steal Braxton's boots <laughs> and then run upstairs and jump and land on the Beholder? Considering Braxton already tried that and it didn't work. He tried from down here, but Braxton is standing on the, uh... uh on the, no, Braxton... the deck, so you'd have to, like, knock him down. I will tip him over onto his back and steal his boots and then jump onto the Beholder so he can use my weapon outside this cone. That's going to take several minutes, surely, to put on shoes and take them and off. And isn't, isn't it quite the... Quite against Paladin code to steal someone's boots. It's not stealing when it's tactical and you need it because nothing else is working. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, Higamus, you, know you do uh, cut down this other uh, uh, officer in front of you. If you look, Braxton's on the catapult, so why don't you just fire Braxton at the beholder? Because you're, you're held. You won't be able to do anything once I catapult you. I mean, he could function as a missile, but you can't use a catapult in the same hex. And these are all in the same hex. Well, wait, wait. Could I tie the spear to him and then call him in the spear back? No. <laughs> spear would leave him where he was. Oh, uh, no. And then he's just flying through, through space. You've not tried it on organic material either, so you don't know what the effects are. No, we tried that. I couldn't call back organic material. So, um, the, uh, spherical creature, uh, rotates, um, it takes its, uh, eye, main eye off of you guys, but it does focus one of the eyes in the back on you, Higamus. Oh, shit. Disintegration! Uh, it's not fun. So I'm gonna need a saving throw versus spell, please. Wait, does that mean the gaze is off of, uh, Braxton? Well, I guess. Yeah. What did you roll? What did you roll? Yep, I'm gone. <laughs> so, um, Higamus, uh, yeah. your mind goes blank, and everyone else sees you turn into a uh, figure of stone. Good. Oh, flesh the stone. Until you get battered. Oh, dear. <laughs> Laughed all like, my wonky dandy. Uh, hmm. <laughs> My, Remember my when you cast the stone to flesh spell, not to turn the monster into uh, flesh. I got animate statue scroll. Higamus is a monster, right? Yes, kind of, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's basically funny as that is. I'm not going. <laughs> so I um, it was supposed to be left, all that was supposed to be. At the you. same time, beginning the uh, the next round, another. Uh, uh, Lizard man appears at the uh, uh, the cargo doors uh, up top, and he is also oh, holding a trident. He's not quite as tall as the one you took out, Higamus, um, but he starts uh, shouting down at uh, the lizard man crew who have surrendered. Um, he is holding is he something. Them? He is touching something around his neck, and uh, uh, can I see this? Does it look like the amulet that I had previously? It does not look like that amulet. No, it's completely oh. different. Um, but uh, he is uh, basically at the door, uh, at the uh, the cargo doors, shouting down to uh, uh, his crew with definite anger. Um, and that's where we'll take our break. We'll see what happens in the next round with uh, Higamus now petrified and... Uh, a number of members of the crew, uh, the, the party, um, huddled in a uh, fearful corner in the uh, cargo hold. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, it it seems, like, seems like everything will be just fine. I mean, uh, me and Leva are having a uh, time of our lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Shuddering in fear in the corner, yes. So we'll be back. We'll be back in about uh, um, ten minutes, everyone. <laughs>